Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on fractions and recurring decimals. So this is the second video on the topic. In the first video we looked at how to convert a fraction to a recurring decimal and now we're going to go the other way and convert a recurring decimal to a fraction. So we have to write 0.147 recurring as a fraction in its simplest form. So 0.147 recurring uh, is equal to 0.147, 147, 147. 147 and so on that just goes on forever uh, so the first way uh, or the first thing we're going to do in order to make this into a fraction is set it equal to x uh, so we're setting up an algebraic expression here and what we can do is multiply this expression by 1000 uh, so that we have 147.147 and that's going to be equal to 1000x so our intention here is to remove this recurring decimal so we can get it into a fraction uh, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to subtract x, which is 0.147 recurring, from 1000x. Uh, so we're going to have 1000x minus x is equal to 147.147 recurring minus 0.147 recurring. So that's going to give us 999x, which is equal to 147. So we've removed the recurring decimal from our expression now. Uh, and all we have to do is solve for x. So if we divide both sides by 999, we're left with x equals 147 over 999. So x is our decimal, which was uh, 0.147 recurring. Sorry, that should be a one, and that should be a four. Uh, so uh, 0.147 recurring is equal to uh, 147 divided by 999. So we're almost there, but we have to put this expression in its simplest form. So uh, both 147 and 999 are divisible by 3. So if we divide the top and the bottom by 3, we're left with 49 over 333. So our final answer then, 0.147 recurring is equal to 49 over 333. Now, there are no common factors of 49 and 333, so this is now in its simplest form. If you'd like to get some practice in with fractions and recurring decimals, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on all of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve. So if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight over there.